everybody. James Skitchy Zimmers from the PTC, the Paul Reed Smith Technical Center. Basically, the PRS Repair Center. Um, we're responsible for artist modifications, artist builds, customer repairs, customer modifications, some private stock builds. Yeah, basically the R&D and Repair Center. I'm here today in the middle of quarantine, coming to you from my basement, and I'm going to do a little Q&A, answer some questions. I'm going to be in the comments, wherever you keep your comments, um, during this video, for a while afterwards, uh, answering any other questions I can get to. So let's go ahead and check action next. Once again, in playing position, you're going to want a machinist ruler marked out in 30 seconds and 60 fourths. 30 seconds are the really important one. Once again, in playing position, just measure from the top of the 12th fret to the bottom of the string. And what you want to see is two 30 seconds on the high E all the way up to two and a half 30 seconds on the low E. So it's a very gradual graduation from two to two and a half 30 seconds. Now you will adjust that with the wrench that came with your guitar. Just raise and lower it from the two screws on each saddle. Do not do the raising and lowering to set your action from the pivot screws. You're going to want to do it from the screws on the saddle. And the other thing is you're going to want them to look like a stair step. So the bottom of each saddle should be parallel to the base plate. So you want to step, step, step. You don't want to angle the saddles. Step, step, step instead of an angle. Once again, I'm Skitchy from the Paul Reed Smith Tech Center. I'm going to be hanging out in the comments down here, over here, wherever you keep your comments at. I'll be there. Let me know what you think. If you have any other questions, hit me up. Peace. Mm.